Install software. 1. Double click the installation file. 2. You can quickly install software and you can also customize the installation. Custom path and other settings. Congratulations, installation is complete, you can now run directly. The default username is admin, and the password is blank. After logging in, you can add and modify the username and password. Part 1. Access Control Equipment Management Step 1. Adding controller, right-click and then select New Controller. You can also add controllers by right-clicking Search. Next, fill in the name, serial number, model, IP address and then click OK. The serial number and IP address, is on the label of the controller. Repeat the above to add a second controller. Step 2. Setting door parameters. Double click to open the door parameter edit box. The name of the door should be easy to remember and distinguish. This is the time, in seconds, to disconnect or connect the controller relay. Open overtime is how much time is left after the door is opened. This must be a door that connects magnetically in order to be effective. Repeat the above operation to modify the parameters of the other three doors. Step 3. Set up the open time. Click the right button on the door to select the time zone and open the edit box. Doors 1 and 2 have 16 time zones by default. 4 doors have 8 time zones, and time zone 1 is enabled. Whether to enable. Naming should be easy to remember and distinguish. For example, the 24 hour card. Use the verification mode in the current time zone to select which way to open the electricity lock. Enable an 8 hour password to open the door. Repeat the above operation to add the same time zone to the other three doors. Set up the time zone for the elevator controller. You must select the first layer and then right click. The timer lift floor can be set when you select door timer. Part 2. Define permissions. List all permission names here. All access, contains all permissions to open all doors by default. Add new authority. Right click and then select new. Fill in the authorization name so it'll be easy to remember and distinguish. Do not click the red items, it will cause an infinite loop. Check the required time zone. Add new authority for the elevator. Select elevator here.
Now we can set up for the personnel with five kinds of authority. Part 3. Personnel Management Step 1. Add Department. Right-click All and then select New. You can choose to skip this step. Step 2. Add Personnel. In the Operations window right-click and select New. The user slash ID number must fill in, and it cannot be repeated. Photos can be chosen by file or pasted here. They also can be snap photos in the premise of the installed cameras. Repeat the above to add more people. Step 3. Issuing a card. In the Personnel Management list, choose the person and then right-click and select Issue Card. Right-click on the selected person list, press Shift or Control to select more and then right-click and select Batch Issue Card. If the last position is filled, then a new swiping card slot will be automatically generated. Setting passwords for related personnel. Right-click the person and select issue card. Your password can be set between 4 to 8 digits. Anything less than 8 digits will require you to press the number sign when entering the password on the reader. After setting a person's password, you need to grant use password for permission later. Step 4. Authority. Grant personnel previously defined permissions. Right-click on the selected persons list and select authority. Use the user authority box to choose the rationing authority. Now, you can see what permission each person has. Part 4. Update and Download Step 1. Updated Parameter Choose the port or controller in the Access Control Device Management interface and simply right-click and select Update Parameter. Step 2. Downloading the cart data Choose the port or controller that needs to be updated in the Access Control Device Management interface. Right-click and then select Download Cart Data. Downloading all of them can become time-consuming if there are too many personnel. You can simply just download them separately through personnel management. Part 5. Swipe and press password. Now, go ahead and enter the password. And remember if the password is less than 8 digits you will need to press the number sign. Part 6. Query Swipe Records Step 1. In the Operations window, right-click and then select Inquiry. Set Query Conditions, then lastly select OK. Thank you for choosing iLink Professionals as your service provider.